David says this in Psalms 31.5, I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my righteous right hand. So you see this golf club in my hands? This golf club isn't worth much. Matter of fact, it might even cost me a little after I hit a few houses on the golf course. See, but you put this club in the hands of Tiger Wood, it's worth around 20 to 30 million dollars a year. It all depends on whose hands it's in. So you take this football, here in my hands, this thing is worth around 15 bucks. But you put this football in the hands of Joe Burrow, the man that just helped LSU win the national championship and is now headed to the NFL, this football is worth around 60 million. So it all depends on the hands that it's in. Take this fishing rod, in my hands, it might provide enough food for me and Joey to eat a meal or two, if I'm lucky. But put this in Pastor Joe's hands and it will feed half the church. Same rod, just matters whose hands it's in. Take this long wooden staff. In my hands, it might help me walk a trail, but put it in the hands of Moses, and it parted the Red Sea and brought water from a rock. See, it's just about whose hands it's in. If I had a couple nails in my hand, I could maybe nail a board down, but you put two nails in the hands of Jesus, and now you have a salvation for anyone that call upon his name and put their faith and trust in him. So it all changes when we put it into Christ's hands. If you take your worries, your fears, those things that make you anxious, and you leave them in your hands, that's what they stay, worry, fear, and anxiety. But you take those things and put them in the Lord's hands, everything changes. You see, in 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. You see, when we exchange our issues and put them in God's hands, they are replaced with joy and peace. See, we're always trying to hold on to everything with a tight fist, afraid that we're going to lose it. But if you let go and let God have it, everything changes. When it's placed in the hands of the one who by a word spoke and the heavens were formed, see, everything changes. Today, put your life in God's hands and see what He can do in you and through you. Mm -hmm.